exciting events to share with you that are going on in the Dade County School System. And I want to introduce to you two of the people who are involved in the first event we want to share, which is the Georgia Young Authors Fair. And would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, my name is Evie Wood. I'm in Miss Barton's fourth grade class, and I'm the daughter of Tommy and Susan Wood. Awesome. All right, you're next. I'm Atticus Anderson, and I'm in Miss Rose's class, and uh, my grandpa is Reese Fawcett, and my grandma is Wileen Fawcett. Great. The reason I ask these two amazing students to come on and talk about the Georgia Young Authors Contest is because these are two of last year's winners. They are amazing authors. Atticus actually paced, placed first place in his grade level, and then he went on to win for the district. And Evie placed second place in her grade level mm -hmm. and this year I am telling you I think she has the state winner mm -hmm. I have read her story and it is absolutely amazing the first thing um, we're gonna do is these guys since they're pros they're gonna share with you the rules of the contest mm -hmm. okay Evie you want to start okay um, words must be less than 1,900 words but that should be pretty easy. Yeah. No problem. They must be done by February 7th. So get going. Come on. <laughs> and what about what rules would you like to share? You may enter a narrative story, poem, informational report, or a personal narrative. Yes. And what else? It must be your own work. That's a big no-no if, you, if you're, like, having your parents to write it for you. That's a big no-no. You're exactly right. We're not going to do any of that at, in Day County Schools. All right. Now, Evie, um, go ahead and tell the audience out there um, what your title is for your story and give us just a little sneak peek at what it's about. Okay. My story is called The Move. And what my story is about is it's about a girl named Emma in, the middle, in middle school. And her life's pretty perfect in Minnesota. And then she finds out she has to move all the way to Tennessee. So it's her trying to battle um, not moving and staying in the hometown. So That is awesome. And what I loved about Evie's story, she actually let me read it. And one of the things we are working on at Dade Elementary, we teach the six traits of writing and voice. You can really hear her voice in this essay. It's incredible. I feel like that I am right along with you. I am that middle school girl having all those emotions. So it's awesome. You have a sister. Does that sound like something your sister might be interested in reading? I think so. I think she could she could sniff out a good read from a mile away. She could probably smell that one from the other side of the world in China. I think you're right about yeah. that. Okay. And Atticus, um, I know that you may be a little bit of a procrastinator like my son was, mm -hmm. but I know you already have an idea about what you want to write. What, what are you thinking about your story? I'm thinking about maybe a kid who... Uh, rounds up a bunch of uh, other boys to compete in the Little League World Series. Man, that is going to appeal to so many athletes out there and boys who have a dream of being a professional baseball player one day. Can't wait to read that. Okay, thank you guys for letting us know about the young, Georgia Young Authors Contest. And now we are going to talk about something we're extremely excited about. Um, this year, as you know, Dade Elementary, we were awarded the Blue Ribbon Lighthouse School Award. And when we had our visits, one of the parts of the process is they interview teachers and students to find out some kind of new, exciting thing that you would like for the school. And both the teacher and the student 
groups mentioned that they would love the possibility of an outdoor classroom. So we actually have a committee and Atticus serves on that committee about getting together and making our dream come true of an outdoor classroom. And um, the, the guys on the committee, they have done lots of research to find out the benefits of outdoor classrooms. And one of the benefits is it actually increases test scores. Um, yep. It's very healthy. And you know what one of the main things? Kids what? Love, love it love it would you like to have your lesson outdoors yes what about you heck yeah boys are made for the outdoors aren't oh, they oh yeah okay now Atticus you know as you know on the committee um we have looked at some different things that we would like so would you like to share um tell about some of the things so one of the things is a giant bamboo wind chime which is right there right there uh you probably can't see it very well but it's there uh and butterfly garden which was i can't remember whose idea that was but one of the biggest things that we brainstormed was a weather station a weather station we're thinking like barometer hygrometer anemometer thermometer right Right, and also, um, what about the composting center? Evie, do you think that's a good idea? Yes, ma'am, definitely. What do you think would be the coolest about this um, visible composting center? Hmm, probably the Once Upon a Time chair where you can read your stories. Okay, she is not even going to comment on the, uh, the um, composting because she's all about being the author she is, the author's chair that we are going to have so that students may go outside and share their story. And oh, I yeah. can't think of anything better than that, can you? I don't think so. All right, sure. well, we're so excited about all the things that we have in store for our outdoor classroom. And we would like um, to recruit some of you out there to be a part of this awesome experience. If you have any kind of instruction um, skills that you have that you would love to donate your time, um, we have many things that we need built for our outdoor classroom. Or if you have materials you would like to donate, we would love that. So you can contact the school and let us know that you are willing to help us make our dream of an outdoor classroom come true. So, we are so excited about this and appreciate your help. Well, guys, you did a fabulous job, and I am so excited about our contest this year, and I know that we are going to have some district and possibly some state winners this year. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. I think that's good. Okay. In the next segment, stay tuned because you won't want to miss this. We have Officer Chad Payne and School Counselor Cheryl Haynes, and they are going to talk to you about social media and how important of a role that plays in raising your child. So stay tuned to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. Georgia Northwestern Technical College is now accepting applications for classes. We offer programs in business, health, industrial, and public service at six campus locations with financial aid options as well. Take day, evening, or online classes to get your degree, diploma, or certificate. Apply now. Drop by one of our campuses today or check us out at gntc.edu, Georgia Northwestern Technical College. For the best deals on a Chevy, any time of day, roll on down to Riverside Chevrolet. Riverside Chevrolet Buick GMC, the home of the lifetime powertrain warranty, has a 2019 Buick Envision MSRP 36395. Riverside Price 3132, a savings of over $6,000. Or receive 0% for 72 months with a $500 rebate. We make buying so easy. Roll on down to Riverside Chevrolet. Located off I-24 West, Kimball, Tennessee. The big jet fly. I need somebody. Get back. Hog a cat. Where you talking about? Talking about the road. Oh, oh, oh. Eight, five, four, six, two, four. Rolling. Rolling on the real world. The big jet flash. It's a gas, gas, gas.
At Comfort Gallery in Kimball, you can truly shop for any piece of furniture from any of our manufacturers. Drop in today and use our in-store kiosk. It's over 40 inches of full color, completely interactive for ease of use. And yes, you can shop all of our manufacturers for virtually any piece you may be looking for. Come to Comfort Gallery in Kimball to find exactly what you need for your home using our kiosk to shop from all of our manufacturers. Free delivery and setup, one year free layaway, and 6 to 12 months, same as cash available at Comfort Gallery, 780 Main Street, Kimball, Tennessee. Come hungry and leave satisfied at Cloud's Pizza, Highway 71 in Higdon. Cloud's Pizza uses only the freshest ingredients, and we hand-toss our own pizza dough. Our pizzas are made from scratch when you order, so they're always fresh. And don't forget about our famous Sand Mountain Cheese Sticks. You can eat from the Daily Buffet or try a mouth-watering hamburger or cheeseburger. Come see your friends at Cloud's Pizza, Highway 71 in Higdon, and never leave hungry. Call ahead at 597-3100 for Cloud's Pizza. Visit us on Facebook at Cloud's Pizza and more. Come see us at Cloud's Pizza. Welcome back, Dade County. I'm Cheryl Haynes. I'm one of the counselors at Dade Elementary School. And with me today, I have a special guest. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chad Payne. Most of you probably know me. I've been on this show a few times, not necessarily this one, but on this TV station. I'm uh, Chad Payne with the Sheriff's Office. I'm a K-9 Sergeant and also an SRO. Yes, and not just any SRO, but he's our very own Dade Elementary SRO. And we love Officer Chad. Just ask any of the kids at school. They love him and they love Daisy, his wonderful dog that we have at school. And today is a very special day. Officer Chad, did you know that at Dade Elementary School? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you know why it is a special day? Well, I'm going to let you tell them. <laughs> okay. Well, if you ask any kid at school, you will know that today is the 100th day. So our kids at school have been going around with gray hair and glasses, and some kids came in today with a walker. Can you I believe noticed that? that. <laughs> I noticed that. And a cane. So if you see any of the kids around town today, be sure to ask them what day number it is. But uh, it's a big deal at Dade Elementary School, and so I have my tag on today, Officer. Chad. I know I like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm 100 days smarter. So that's what they say. So we love it. Um, I just want to update everybody. The last time I was on with Dr. Harris, uh, we have been talking about the glove and mitten tree. And um, I just want to thank you all and your families. That's a wonderful time for us to show generosity to people in our own community who just might need a little something extra this winter. It's a wonderful time for us to teach our children. Absolutely. It is to, to model sharing and, and giving. And so I did want to let everybody know that that was still going on through the month of January. So um, through the month of January, we will be continuing to take donations. Um, what they're still needing and accepting is new, new items. Um, in the past, I think they've taken some gently used things, but now they're especially asking for new items. Um, hats, scarves, coats, even sweatshirts, hoodies, and socks. Anything like that, that um, that if we had a student that had a special need, they might need to have. Also, if we have extras, we do store those for some time and keep them throughout the winter, making sure that our children get what they need here. All right, so- Ms. Haynes, yes. I, I just wanna say something. Uh, on mm -hmm. behalf of the Sheriff's Office, just thank you for the work that y'all do when it comes to providing for some of these kids. You know, some, some kids are not as fortunate as others. Yes. And uh, until I got to working in the school, I had no idea how much you all help. It's very heartwarming mm -hmm. to walk the halls and see the mitten tree mm -hmm. and uh, know the supply room that we have mm -hmm. and, and that y'all meet the needs of some of the children who are less fortunate than others. And, you know, on cold days and cold mornings and things like that, that makes yes. a world of difference. I know. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And I'll just tell you, it is a privilege to be in a job like mine because 
I get to shine, Officer Chad, because of the families that are watching this show right now. These families are the reason we have the wonderful students that we do, that our school has the generous spirit of giving and kindness that it does. And so what I get to give away is what you bring to me, and I thank you all out there. It is a privilege to work with you and your children. So, um, okay, well, we're going to move on, Officer Chad, and we're going to talk about some of our New Year's resolutions today. And a special one today that we have with Officer Chad is we talk about safe social media, how to be safe on the internet. This is something we've talked about in various parent coffees, and in the beginning of March, we will have another parent coffee, and Officer Chad may get to come and uh, present to us just like he did in the fall. And so one of the top things we're looking for is to have a social media contract with our children. Officer Chad, what do we mean by a social media contract? Well, a social media contract is essentially an agreement between uh, children and parents as to what is appropriate for social media contact. Because as we're aware, there are a lot of things that are not appropriate for social media. Uh, and that, that doesn't just go for social media, but it goes for the internet in general. Uh, there's actually five keys uh, to creating a smartphone and social media contract. And number one being that you want to set family expectations for devices. And what I mean by that is uh, an example I'll give you would be like to post pictures uh, of, or words that you can be proud of. Uh, we use with some of the kids the uh, grandmother test. You know, uh, don't ever post anything that yes. your grandparents or grandmother wouldn't be proud of. Another mm -hmm. aspect of it is the, that you want to create guidelines about when and where the device can be used. Uh, not all places are safe for smartphone use. You know, mm -hmm. their open Wi-Fi's and things like that can can give you give a lot of your information away without you knowing it. Uh, we also want to encourage your child to stop and think before they post. Uh, sometimes, you know, and we all do it. It's not just children, but sometimes we post out of emotion. You know, we might be mm -hmm. angry, and and, mm -hmm. and that's that's the time that we talk about not posting things out of emotion you know or feelings as far as that goes what would be a good thing if say if if your child was uncertain about posting what what should they do we always encourage them to ask an adult you know it doesn't necessarily have to be your parents but ask an, uh, either an, an adult that you trust or a responsible adult you know it could be your teacher you know it could be mm -hmm. it could be an older sibling mm -hmm. just anybody that you you trust uh, to make a good decision you know it wouldn't be wouldn't be wise for a for a 12 year old to ask their six year old sibling you know what they should post <laughs> on the internet but uh, just anybody you trust really that, that makes good decisions okay good Another part of that is uh, always, another part of the contract can be to always uh, require permission to download new apps. Uh, that's a big one. You know, my son, every app that he downloads on his uh, tablet, it notifies me, and I can either uh, elect to allow him to continue to use that app or block it. Uh, and that's something we'll talk about here in just a minute. Uh, one of the biggest aspects of it is that you want to teach respectful behavior and that respectful behavior earns more privileges you know mm -hmm. that you shouldn't just give it all access at one time you want to you want to be able to work up to that uh, you know some of the things could be allowing your kids more screen time uh, my, again I'll reference my son uh, he's 10 years old he, he has screen time limits like he has an hour a day that he can watch on YouTube and if he does things like he's supposed to then I have the ability to grant him more screen time mm -hmm. uh, all of that are, are just five key aspects of a social media contract mm -hmm. that you should have with your kids okay is there a filter that maybe a family could consider getting uh, if they're new to the social media game? Absolutely. Uh, I'm not real, real familiar with the way Apple and Macintosh and things work, uh, but I know with Google, mm -hmm. they have Family Link now, which is what I use. Okay. Uh, also, Verizon Smart Family if you have Verizon, uh, you, but you don't have to pay for Google Family Link, and it allows you to set screen times. It allows you to set content okay. filters. It, it's one of the things that notifies you when you have apps, and that's Google Family Link, and it's free. That's a big part about it, but that only works on Android devices. That is wonderful. Thank you so much, Officer Chad. Absolutely. That is useful and timely information. We will be having a parent coffee uh, coming up in early March where we hear more about social media. So now uh, we'll be ending our segment, and at this, uh, when we come back, uh, Miss Vice will be joining us with some of our wonderful students from Dade Elementary, giving us all of the upcoming news and information from school. So we'll see you in a minute. 
The Moore family name has built a legacy of trust, compassion, and peace of mind by standing with families during time of loss. Now in our 70th year, the Moore family commitment grows even stronger, from affordable, traditional services to cremation. Our experienced staff stands ready to follow through on you and your family's wishes. Since 1945, the Moore family of funeral homes, North Sand Mountain and Trenton, always dedicated to those we serve. NL Tax and Bookkeeping is ready to serve all of your tax needs. Nancy Anderton's been serving the Tri-State area since 1978. Now you can get your taxes prepared with no out-of-pocket expenses. Ask about up to a $1,200 refund advance. It's fast, easy, safe, and convenient. NL Tax and Bookkeeping is open 8.30 a.m. till 6.30 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, and 8.30 a.m. till 2 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Questions about the Affordable Care Act? We have those answers, too. And we offer a free form price comparison. Experienced and professional tax services. NL Tax and Bookkeeping. 500 Alabama Highway 73, 7 miles from downtown Trenton. Call today at 706-657-4758 or 256-597-2829. NL Tax and Bookkeeping. 706-657-4758 or 256-597-2829. Can you gig it? Oh, yes, you can. We know you've been waiting for a long time, and now Tennessee Valley Net is bringing it to you. Gigabit Internet Service, now available in certain areas of Dade County. Not just fast, super fast Internet Service, now available from Tennessee Valley Net. People are talking, I mean really smiling, about gig speed Internet, available in limited areas from Tennessee Valley Net. Call today at 706-657-4367 or log on at tvn.net and see if gig speed is available where you are. We know you'll gig it from Tennessee Valley Net. Landers McClarty Ford, home of America's hardest working truck in Fort Payne, Alabama, invites you to start the new year off right with a 2019 Ford F-150. Zero percent financing for 72 months and up to $15,000 off selected F-150s in stock. See Landers McClarty Ford for complete details. Landers McClarty Ford at 1916 Glen Boulevard in Fort Payne, Alabama or shop on the web at Landers McClarty Ford. FortPain.net. Hello, and welcome back to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. I'm Tanina Bice, a counselor at Dade Elementary School, and we're so happy to be here with you. I have two special guests with me, and they're going to introduce themselves to you. I'm Abka Sanderson. And I'm Evie Wood. And I would like to thank these students for taking time out of their busy day to join us today. Thank you guys for helping us. You're welcome. I would like to begin this segment with giving Dr. Jan Harris, our school superintendent, a shout out. Dr. Harris works diligently every week to put out what is called the message from the superintendent. And this message goes to all the teachers, staff members, uh, administrators, and parents can even read it on the website. Mm -hmm. Tell us, Evie, what this message is about. This is all of the info from um, all the schools. Yes, it tells us all the exciting things that are going on in the schools in Dade County. And you know, a lot of times we get really busy in the schools and we don't know what's going on at other schools. So we're really thankful to get this message each week. Now, Evie, tell us what the very first thing is Dr. Harris starts out with her message. The first thing is the theme. And the theme for this month is vision. Yes, the character thing. And do we have some character winners from Day County? We, I think, do. From um, Davis Elementary, there's Haven McAdams, and there's JT Chambers. And then from Dade Elementary, there's Wynn Garmany. So congratulations to those students. Absolutely. Those students definitely had vision, and we're so proud of them. Now, we also have a character word each week. Atticus, will you tell the viewers what the word is this week? The character word for this week is goals. Tell us what goals. Tell us about goals. What do you think that means? To me, goals are things that you want to achieve, and so you work up 
to meet those goals. Absolutely. You know, like we have a goal at Dade Elementary School to get that outdoor classroom. Yep. And you're working hard on that, aren't you, Atticus? Absolutely. Uh, and the next thing that we would like to talk about um, is talking about goals, Atticus. I read that Coach Poston and the wrestling team really had high goals. Did they meet those goals and expectations? Oh, yeah. Tell us, Atticus, what happened? Uh, the, the high school wrestling team made it into the final six at a state level. Absolutely. Congratulations to Coach Poston and the Day County Wrestling Team. We are so proud of your accomplishments. Evie, tell us some of the character traits that it probably took to get there. A lot of determination and a good amount of hard work. Absolutely. They worked hard to get there. No doubt about that. That's right. Well, the Board of Education unanimously voted to build a new rock building up at Davis. So at Davis Elementary School, they will have a new rock building and they're going to fill it with as much history as they can. And we want to say congratulations to the Davis Elementary School and to the community as well, because we know that you really love your school and will be proud of the new rock building. Well, we have some renovations going on in the Dade County Schools. Tell us about them, Evie. We do. At our middle school, um, we are getting a renovation for a lot of different areas. And then for the Dade Elementary School, we will be getting LED lights, and we are so excited for this new update. Yes, we are. We also got some new water fountains, and we love our water fountains. Tell us about those water fountains. So there's a little compartment on that's actually on top of the old water fountains so you just take off the lid of your water bottle and it's a motion sensor so you put it under there and it'll sense when your bottle is under there and it will pour cold filtered water into your bottle Wow, filtered water. So you actually get to reuse your bottle. Yep. That is amazing. So thank you to Dr. Harris and the Board of Education for getting those for, for the students and teachers. I've yes. used it. Have you used it? Oh, yeah. Have you used it, Evie? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, there you go. We're proud of those water fountains. And we're looking forward to the other renovations in our schools as well. Well, we also have an author come into the Dade County School System. Uh, what date will she be here, Atticus? I think it's, is it the 28th? The 28th of yep. January. We have Miss Liz Huntley, who will be coming to the Dade County Middle School and Dade County High School. She is an author, and she's also a successful attorney. And in her book, a lot of our students have actually read her book, she talks about the struggles and the trauma and difficulties she had to go through as a childhood. But she also tells about the community and the pastors and teachers who really helped her become the person she is today. She's a very inspirational and motivational speaker. So we're looking forward to uh, seeing Miss Huntley on January the 28th. Uh, we also would like to announce that the Georgia Department of Education released Beating the Odds data last week. And the Dade County Schools 2019 scores were... Dade Elementary School, 83.6. Davis Elementary School, 77.8. Dade Middle School, 72. Dade County High School, 77. We are so proud of our students, our teachers, and Dr. Harris wanted to give a special shout out to the students, the teachers, administrators, faculty, and staff, and our parents as well. So we're very proud of our scores. Uh, on Friday, January the 17th, which was last Friday, we had an all pro dad breakfast. It was absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. All Pro Dad is a program that's sponsored through Family First. 
Atticus, I think you were at that all-pro breakfast, weren't you? I was. Well, tell us about it. So, first of all, you go to the cafeteria and get a delicious breakfast. Then you take that, and you, then you take your breakfast up to the media center, and you can grab a donut and some coffee, if you want to, of course. Uh, and then Miss Blevins uh, uh, will give an informational speech, and then Miss, Mr. Rex Mayo, mm -hmm. he was the speaker this year, he gave an awesome speech, like, no doubt about it. That was one of the best speeches I've ever heard, if not the best. Really? Well, I know he's proud to hear that. Yes, he was. He was excellent. Uh, and then you got to be walked to your classroom by your granddad, right? Was that pretty granddad. special? Yep. Yes, it is an amazing time for dads to spend time at school with their children. Now, Davis has an all-pro dad coming up, don't they? When is that date? I think it's January. Wait, no, no, that was mm -hmm. uh, January, January the twenty seventh. Yes. Oh. It begins at eight o'clock, and Mr. Skip Pittman will be leading that All Pro Dad program. Uh, we also have the oratorical coming up. It's going to be February the 11th at the Day County High School, and so come out and support us there. We look forward to seeing everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. We appreciate everything you do for our school system, and have a great day.